But being a billionaire has its privileges. And when it comes to turning high-priced auction buys into hundreds of millions of reward points, no one did it better than Louis Chien, Filthy Rich Rewards Points Master. Chinese billionaire Li Yi Qian is hands down one of the biggest collectors of Chinese ancient art. There are about eight bidders. Uh, it was won over by uh, Liu Yichen, who is perhaps now the greatest force in the Chinese art market. He bought a Tibetan bronze seated yogi from the 11th or 12th century from Christie's for $4.9 million. And he actually spent $45 million on a 15th century Tibetan painting. But while he sometimes drops as much as 93 times the pre sale estimate, there's a method to his overspending madness. And he's not just infamous for what he buys, but how he buys it, specifically charging to his American Express credit card. So he actually paid $36 million for a ceramic chicken cup using his Amex card. But spending that much at Sotheby's isn't as easy as it sounds. Turns out there's a 1.6 million limit per swipe. This is a problem only the filthy rich have, realizing that there's only a million and a half dollar limit on your card. So Lou had to swipe, and swipe again, and again, for 24 times total. Instead of tennis elbow, they have credit card elbow. But all of Lou's hard work wasn't without its rewards. When he bought the $45 million tapestry, he actually got 421 million points. He earned enough points to fly his wife and daughter to New York and stay for a week at the St. Regis Hotel, totally gratis. So maybe he's a little bit more of a bargain hunter than we realized. Chicken cup and trip. Oh yeah, this guy, this guy's thrifty. So here's to you, Louis Chien, billionaire, art lover, rewards, points, hero. The Filthy Rich Guide, Tuesdays, only on CNBC. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.